everyone and welcome back to Scottish Lad Darts channel. In today's review we're going to be reviewing a set of the Target Generation 2 Mikuru Suzuki's. Only available in 24 gram and have the Swiss Point system. So without further ado, let's crack on with the review. Here we are then ladies and gentlemen. Uh, near, near enough close look to the Target Mikuru Suzuki Generation 2 manufactured by Target but like unlike most of the Target barrels there is no branding on the dart itself as you can see there is a few wee kind of grouping marks etc as you can see on the dart that's just from where I've been obviously having a throw of them really really nice unique looking darts that's for sure these are manufactured by Target as I said 95% tungsten so Really well made dart, I have to say. The, um, the length from here, well that Swiss point meets the barrel. I know a lot of people are going to give me a lot of stuff about Swiss points, but I've not personally got an issue with it. So from here to here, where the stem meets the barrel, is 50.5mm and the width is 6.6mm. So it is a straight barrel dart, so there's no difference in dips and scallops and stuff like that. The grip is quite different as well, especially because it's more suited to a middle to rear gripper. As you can see in here, the grip at the rear is a pixel, well middle to rear is a pixel ringed grip as you can see. So that you can feel the pixels in your fingers, that's for certain. The grip, it's not overly aggressive but it's not, not grippy enough if that makes any sense. So the grip for me is a level three and a half from middle to rear. Now for front grippers, depending on where you grip, you do have some grip on that. Obviously, target five point Swiss point. So you get a wee bit of grip on these kind of diamond diamond cuts, and obviously the front section on the nose. But it may not be enough. But for me at the front, I'd have to say it's a two and a half. I'm a scoot one to five in terms of the grip. But as I say, it's probably more suited to a middle to rear gripper, just with that pixel grip at the rear. Now, they come with the intermediate target stems like this. There is no pro grip written on them, it's just the target logo. Now, I really like those stems. I have said it previously in my Paul Lim Generation 3 review that those stems just look clean, in my opinion. Now, as I say, the grip and everything's perfect for a middle to rear gripper. This is the Jadeite paint, as Target call it, so this can be removed if you really wanted to. Obviously just to black it out and make it look like a blacked out dart, obviously. It's come with the silver points as well. Black would have been most pleasing to me personally for the sake of the dart, because the dart is black. But that's me just nitpicking. The biggest bugaboo about these, I think a lot of people are going to agree with, is the price. Because the price of these is £115.00. And 95 pence so it is quite expensive but that is what it is we can't really grumble at it now personally I think they were manufactured in Japan I don't see them being manufactured here in the UK especially at that price because they'd have to include import taxes and stuff from Japan hence why I'm saying the 115.95 that's coming from the target website as well so that includes your free DPD postage but I've gave these all the necessary information on the Makuru Suzuki Generation 2. Let's get them over to the board and we'll see how we got on with them. Here we are then, ladies and gents. We're in the front section for the Makuru Suzuki Generation 2. Now, for this first visit, I am throwing from a front grip position. Obviously, I'm not a front grip, but I was just trying to see how slippy they are. And personally, for me, they are really, really slippy from the front. Not going to be for everybody for the front gripping. Depends how much grip you like. But for me, where they're at is middle to rear. Obviously, I'm a rear gripper myself. So, as you can see, once I've found the consistent place for my fingers, I'm throwing quite well, minus that odd one into the one. But they fly really well for me as a rear gripper. So that's why I'm saying they're more suited to a rear gripper. The price is 115 95 from the Target website. So, the price is a bit high. A lot of people are not going to like the price of them and the fact they're a Swiss point system. I've never had any issues with the Swiss point system, but obviously that's just me. A lot of people have had snappages within a few visits, hitting the floor and the points are snapping. But at the end of the day, they were designed to make it quick to change the points, so it is what it is with target Swiss points. Now, as I say, 
that pixel grip does stick to my fingers really well, especially when my fingers start to heat up. I obviously thought at first it would start slipping and stuff like most other grips do with my with my grip. But stuck to my fingers really well. They fly really well for me personally. I mean, it's not all the time where I find I'm getting that consistent same grip all the way through without slipping. So banging for that. But 116 quid if I wanted to use these in my match darts to get a backup set. Let's just say that's 300. Let's just say 250 quid for two sets of darts, pretty much. If I was going to include extra Swiss points and stuff, a bit high in terms of that pricing for me. But it is what it is, I suppose. Now, obviously, manufactured in Japan, I'm going to assume, just down to the sheer level of, obviously, machining that's went into it. And the uniqueness and quirkiness, I think that's what dragged me into wanting to buy them and to review them, which is obviously what I did. But I've gave these what I think of these, throwing them. Let's go and get wrapped up. There we go guys, that was my review of the Target Makuru Suzuki Generation 2 and 24 gram, the only weight they're available in unfortunately. Perfect for a middle to rear grapper in my opinion. Let me know what you think of them in the comment section down below, I mean they are a stunning dart in my opinion as well. That's only paint as well, the Jadeite stuff, so that can come off and we'll make it a, pool, a pure black barrel. Whether I want to do that or not is another story because it does add to the un uniqueness of the dart. The price is $115.95, that's from the Target website, which comes with your free DPD postage as well, so that's not too bad, because DPD is usually next day, so that's not bad. Come with the intermediate Target stems, and now these stems do not say ProGrip on it, it's just the Target logo. If the all Target stems were like this, I'd buy them a lot more than what I already do, because personally, it just makes them look clean and efficient rather than having... The program brought up the side of them. I know that's the name of the stems, but we all know that in the darts world. Come with the Makuru Suzuki number no. six flights as well. Very unique looking flight as well. It's a nice design on it. Perfect, as I say, for a mid to rear gripper. I'm a rear gripper myself, so I grip obviously right at the rear of the dart. Now that is perfect for me because I don't touch the front whatsoever. It's just from there to the point. Perfect for me, but the price is a bit of the let down that lets me down personally because I like a bargain I can't deny that I like a bargain dart rather than a expensive set of darts if just ignore that that's just my Phil Taylor collection so as I just as I said I like a bargain dart but let me know what you think of these in the comment section don't forget to leave a like and subscribe while you're in that direction stay safe out there and of course keep on that Bye. <laughs>